Okay, so we're here. We got a um, 2008 Carrier um, Performance two-stage inducer motor is making a real high pitch whining noise. It's kind of intermittent. Uh, it took me a few times to reproduce the error, but we got it. We pinpointed it, but um, I was checking amperage and it was uh, pretty high exceeding the rating for the motor. So um, we're gonna install a new motor, uh, carrier parts here, uh, direct replacement. So I'm gonna show you guys how to um, install an inducer motor. Uh, very, very easy. Only a couple tools involved. Pressure switch out of the way. Disconnect the Molex plug. Oh, yeah, 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 no worries. I'll get that for me in a bit. Okay. How long do you think this is going to take? I'm not in here. Uh, about 15, 20 minutes. 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, okay. not too long. <laughs> Customer already asking how long we're going to take. There it is. Comes right out. Pretty easy. We got that out. There's three screws. Let's put the new one in. Line up the holes. Once you get one lined up, get your screw in. Alright, get our other screw. Line up the top hole right there. Okay, the last screw. Don't forget your ground, your grain. And make sure it doesn't hit your cooling disc either, because I've seen some, some people do that. Make sure it's away from the flu. But definitely don't forget about the ground. Smooth. The other one was running pretty rough. I should have got some sounds from it. All right, let's plug our Molex back in. Put our pressure switch back on. that feels moving. The motor before was 